Hey everybody, Boy. welcome back to the Metal Gear Recollection. I believe this is part four. I know because I already titled the file, and I know, and I know. So I'm just being a dumbass at this point. Anyways, hey, so here we are back here at the very beginning of Operation Snake Eater. Yes. Uh, which is... The first one was the virtuous mission. Yes. It was very virtuous because we lost our getting our ass kicked and thrown off a bridge virginity. <laughs> And now we basically, they basically said, okay, you need to go in and fuck these guys up. You need to go into the goddamn the part of Russia where all this shit went down. You need to find this fucking splinter group and you need to break their arms and legs and fuck them right in the pussy. <laughs> and you're going to start that by kicking these snakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you kicked it. I kicked it. And you get food. Oh, yeah, that's another... Uh, thing about this game we forgot to mention. This game is is technically a survival game instead of just a stealth game. Uh, the stealth bar, action game. The, yes. The bar below Snake's health bar is his stamina bar, which goes down over time uh, based on how hungry you are. And you can eat food that you catch here in the jungle in order to bam! Bah. In order to uh, uh, make the sandwich. Make the sandwich? I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just talking out my ass at this point. So, mm. um, the game has a lot of cutscenes to start out. Um, God. Some people don't like that. I think it's okay because the setup that this game required, seeing as how it was the first game set back in the past, and it has a lot of characters to introduce, I think it's fine. Hey, check. It's a horse. Uh, what is a horse doing here? I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to stand here and completely disarm Ooh. myself and hang out. And look at it. Shoot the horse and run away, you fucking idiot. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. So, back to Snake having shit fucked up around him constantly. She just knew. She just knew shit was going to happen. Well, she's the boss. She is the boss. She's, she's coming for you. She's a covert ops legend. She's like, they're going to find some bullshit way. By the way, look at the badass sneaking. She's going to touch you. Boom. Okay, I know... I wouldn't run at a pistol. Mm. I wouldn't. Like, I know nobody in fucking America knows how to fire a pistol, pistol, especially if they're freaked out. So the chances of them actually hitting you with a with a with a with a, with a, a round with a shot are are probably about fifty fifty, just based on the fact that it's right in front of you. But mm. still, I'm, I'm, I don't I don't like fifty fifty. Yeah. Now, if it but, was some if it was somebody like him. Who, who is trained in how to fire the pistol very accurately and well and was hired by the CIA because he could do those things well. The, the only way I would do that is if I knew I was so much fucking better and faster and more powerful and more badass and had a bigger badass gun like that. That's the only time I would be like, okay, yeah, we can do this. It's so weird. It's not, yeah, it's... Kojima doesn't. It's so inaccurate. Kojima doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. His military advisor needs to be shot. Then again, I mean that's just basically a broken down M16. I wouldn't be surprised. It not to that extent, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is some issue with that customized barrel on there that doesn't actually make the round fire the way it's intended to. Oh wow, you said round and not bullet. What? You know something. You know something. I don't know. Every time every time I talk about weapons, despite the fact that it was my job to know about weapons for four and a half years, I still feel like I'm saying the wrong thing and I sound like a fucking amateur. Well, you said round instead of bullet. I'll even say, like, I'll say, you know, you have to, how, how you know, somebody will come up to me with an issue and I'll be like, well, are your magazines clean? And I'll be like, wait. Whoa, is... you said magazine. Yeah, and I'll be like, wait, is that the right word? Fuck, I don't know if it's the right word. Should I say clip? Do these idiots know what the fuck I'm talking about? Do oh I do I sound pretentious by knowing what I'm talking about? No, you sound correct. It's, it's, it's 
no pretentiousness in it. Yeah, I know, but still, but I always feel like I'm up my own ass, like I'm like a weapons hipster. Like, I was saying the right things before you were a lifetime member of the NRA. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, man. But you can't defeat so back to the game that I thought we were going to be focusing on a lot. Here we go, oh, shit's sh fucked up, and she's just basically said, you have no chance, get the fuck out. Just look Bitch. at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind She's I mean, you won't this is long. this is great set up for the fact that this is kind of an ideological battle, which is what a lot of... B oh, fucking Jesus Christ. You know, why don't I have to fix that when the gameplay starts up again? You know what? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Have you ever had a horse step on anything? No, it's but I've seen horrible. horses and I know how heavy they are. I have had, I have had a small Arab horse uh, and... I'm not not being racist and saying those fucking Arab horses. That is a breed of horse. That is a breed of horse. Yes. Uh, step on my unsteel-toed foot, and it Ooh. was fucking agony for decades. Oh. It was agony for decades, and that was a, that was probably a slightly larger horse. That horse looked like it was 14, 15 hands, which, if anybody knows anything about horses, is a slightly larger than average horse. Yep. Um, this is a video game. Of course, it's gonna be slightly average. Because how often do Japanese see horses? Yeah. Which, what was I talking about right before I went off on the horse tangent? Uh, something about having to fix his hand. Before that. I don't remember. Shit. I had a good point. I can't remember what the point was. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I remember. the hipster shit. Ide no, not even the hipster thing, the ideological thing. Cause oh, okay. That, the scenes between him and the boss... Uh, you really need to pay attention to it because she's basically, she spends the entire game, more or less, telling him the only way that you're going to be able to defeat me is if you commit to an, ideolo an ideology. Um, I don't care if it's right, I don't care if it's the same as mine, but the only way you're going to be able to defeat me is if you are determined enough to do it. Um... Which is a great it, it's it's great character development for this character because at this point he he's he is a pretty much a blank slate at this point. Mm -hmm. You know he's he not has, a. I don't want to say he's a greenhorn, but he's getting he's close to it. Yeah, he is not experienced. This game this game above anything else is the story of the character development of this character, uh, Naked Snake, and so him developing an ideology which. <gasps> Is so much so based on. Uh, you're going to see a lot of pausing and changing uh, uh, oh camouflage here at this point in order to get through this first section because I have nothing. I have no way to neutralize these guys, so I pretty much have to wait here and deal with it. I don't like the way they run either. I don't either. Let's see. Can I see that? Oh shit! Oh, who's that? Oh, oh shit! Okay. So first thing I need to do, I may get made here. I don't. Oh, let's see. Can we change anything? By the way, talking what? about the weird. <laughs> Here. This was 90% of the previous playthrough. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm at 95%. As long as I move slowly. That's not slowly. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, no. Run. Run. No. Oh, These fucking he controls. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so here we go. We've had our first alert of the game, which I should be able to uh, get out of by just cha going away from the screen. But since we're in the fucking situation, I'm going to show it by actually hiding. hiding. I'm going to actually hide and wait out the uh... hey, alert. Yes, wait out the alert. Oh, shit. Well, I can't exactly hide when they're fucking firing at me. So, I might be wrong about what I'm about to do. And as you can see from the red up on my health bar, I'm actually already, uh, I'm already dealing with some, uh, some, uh, damage. Shit! Shit! Sees you! There we go. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to knock out some of these guys here. So, playthrough ruined. Boom! Bitch. <laughs> so those guys are down. There's no reinforcements. However, people are currently firing at me. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're good here. But if you were to, 
if you were to follow the actual gameplay flow at this point, what would happen is you would go from your alert phase where they can see you to an evasion phase where they actually where they they are searching for you actively. Then you would have a caution phase where they are in a heightened state of alert uh, compared to how they normally are. Which I gotta deal with these gunshot wounds. Uh, stiff they can disinfect it. Yeah, just straight up gunshot wounds. Apparently the hand is totally fine. Snake can just snake can just take the entire weight of a horse on one on one friggin' on one hand, hand there. Um, shit, I keep losing my train of thought going between trying to talk and trying to play this game. Yeah. Um, but here we go. We're actually still in the uh, still in the evasion state. Uh, even Did though you, we've uh, gone through screens. Do you ever here. get that that weapon back that she took apart and threw? Uh, you do not get it back uh, at that point, which is part of the reason I wasn't able to deal with them. Camouflage, mm. backpack. Here I want to do camouflage. I want to deal with woodland, which I have on. And I want to switch to something a little more all-purpose, which will be my DPM. I will probably be wearing DPM for a good portion of this game. DPM, destru destructive pattern material. Uh, uh, correct. So <laughs> here we are. I feel like there's somebody behind me. You stop moving. No, nobody behind me. That's where you also get your first camouflage, by the way. There's two guys over there. Yep. Underneath the bridge. First camouflage is, in fact, underneath the bridge. Now, here we are in a caution state where they are in a heightened state of alert. However, they aren't... <clears throat> Very smart. They aren't, like, actively running around searching for me. Um, and once that timer runs out, which is a lot more than 75 seconds, believe it or not... Um, once that timer runs out, they're going to go back into their normal state, their normal patrol route, and uh, that's pretty much the gameplay flow of this. So now, the fact that he is going away, I'm going to be able to actually neutralize this guy. Whoop. AKA, knocked him the fuck out. Yes, actually. Mama said, knock that's you out. So I'm using this super slow stalking method because at this point, uh, that you didn't know about. Yeah, in the previous one, I didn't know you could do it that way. If you slide down cliffs, you won't take any damage. What else you got for me, asshole? So as you can see, this is one of the um, one of the CQC things right here. Is you can interrogate people, and in this case, because I don't want to deal with him waking up, just straight up, just murder, mur murder, him. murder the guy. Um, and they will detect and freak out about bodies. So at this point, I am going to. Hide the body over here in the bushes because that's the best. Why don't you just throw it off there. the cliff? You're right. However, it's it's fine. I'm gonna get through here well enough. Um, so, what we did in the previous uh, previous section here, drop down and uh, grab onto the branch again. I always get freaked out by that because it's like, well, <laughs> if I don't hit the button at the right time, then gameplay over. Yeah. So I now have the raindrop, raindrop. uniform. Works well in the rain. And here we go, shimming around here. Now, I know there's the one guy, and I don't know where he is. So I'm going to have to move forward with the assumption that he's right around here. Let's see. Do we see him yet? Do we see him yet? Oh, he's mm. crossing the bridge, so I'm actually good. Watch there be a guy right here at the loading screen. Oh, what somebody the... saw me! Oh fuck! Oh god! Oh, shit! Run! Oh! Ah! Oh, crab battle! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe he saw you. It, it, I don't think it was him. I think there was somebody that I didn't notice that I didn't pay attention to. Hmm. All right, so here we are back where uh, back where everything went down in the very first part. And if uh, memory serves me, there's nobody here. However, I am gonna do a quick. Uh, uh, scope out of the situation here. I think I still do have my scope, which is actually a fantastic tool. Um, I might have yeah. mentioned it in previous parts, but the other games relied heavily on um, a radar that showed you the vision cone of the enemies on screen or the enemies in the zone that you were playing in to uh, help you get around them. However, this game does not have that. So in this game, what you actually have to do a little something special in here thermal goggles very useful later on um, what you have to do um, in this one is you actually have to look for people and you have to remember where they are 
and you have a couple different uh, tools to do that. One of which is the scope, which allows you to you know zoom in and look your binoculars yep. really, and then you have a directional microphone, which comes in very handy later in the game during a certain. Uh, Boss fight. boss fight i will actually not be using it for this playthrough because due to limitations of our setup i actually have to um i actually have to play this damn game with the volume turn completely off oh no we gotta look at stuff oh i missed the prompt too late but hey there's some shit there um but yeah so due to uh limitations i'm actually playing this game and i can't hear it at all so um yeah kind of sucks and it will not help with the whole stealth thing because I like to hear my enemies as, as, as much as see them, uh, which will lead me to probably attempting to be a little extra careful, at least more careful than we were when I triggered that fucking alert. Um, so here we are with shit fucked up again. <clears throat> oh, shit. Except now we have somebody who is making the thing good. My phone just told me that you sent me a Facebook message. Uh, decades ago. Decades so and fucked. decades and decades. Oh. Yeah, whatever. It's weird. My phone is dying. My phone is a a two and a quarter year old Windows phone that needs to be replaced, but I don't want to replace it because the new Windows phone, I like Windows phone. I don't need an Android. I don't need a fucking Apple phone. And the new Windows phone won't come out on my carrier, and I don't want to switch carriers because Verizon and Microsoft have historically had little pissing competitions between them. So, I'm fucked either way. But whatever. So, that explains why it's garbage. Uh, Windows phones are not garbage. It's a great platform. Uh, with a lot of the fat cut out that you have to deal with with iPhone and etc. Mm -hmm. uh, and boobies. By the way, speaking of the game. Jets. But, yeah. Hey, look. That's where he's looking. Jets. Tats. Way to go, Snake. <laughs> Look at him, he's just staring, he's like, yeah. <laughs> what a fucking noob. It's like he's never seen tits before. It's like he's but... never seen tits before. Then again, those things are those things are vaguely exceptional. <sighs> so, you know. Just because Kojima's a pervert. So already shit's gone off the rails here, but we're still alive and we're still dealing with the situation, so whatever. Yes. Uh, but this is the introduction to Eva, who, like I said, and like I stated with every other character, pretty much every character in this game plays a major part throughout the rest of the series. Yep. Even some of the ones that are killed. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, so, that's not really a spoiler, because I'm not really saying anything, however, it's... Either old people die. It's Jeez, borderline, a yeah. A lot of fucking people die in this game, but whatever, no big deal. Um, so this is your, this is your, your contact, your eyes on the inside, as it were. There's a little Bloodborne reference right there. Um. Bloodborne? What the fuck is Bloodborne? You're kidding me. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, thank God. It's a wee bit of a troll. So here, here, here is your, here is your pussy galore to your James Bond. And uh, I don't use the name Pussy Galore li <laughs> lightly. Yeah. Um, her, her pussy factors heavily into the lore of the Metal <laughs> Gear series throughout a very long time. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So look at this pistol. Speaking also, of spe pistol. speaking of a nerdgasm, look at this guy. He's about to have a super duper nerdgasm. Oh well, shit, so would I. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, but you're a gun nut. The normal person wouldn't notice any of this. I wouldn't notice any of this. I would be like, oh, hey, the 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 sights are the sights are, are the the high visibility ones. That's cool. The rest of it, I would be like, oh, it's a, it's a really nice 45. I think I'm gonna clean this every time I use it. Mm. That would be the that would be the extent of my my knowledge of this fucking thing. Yeah. I mean, I would probably be able to notice that this thing has been customized to an extent, but, you know, whatever. He's Ooh. super into it. Yep. I grabbed it from a Western Munitions, grabbed it in a Western Munitions Armory. Belonged to, oh. belonged to one of your officers. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that was, like, 
like something that got traded in Berlin in World War II. You know, when both sides were were occupying parts of Berlin peacefully. Yeah, yeah. And the wall wasn't up yet, and there wasn't all sorts of <laughs> shit going on. The wall. You gotta imagine there was a lot of like war trophy trading and shit at that point. Oh yeah, of course there has to be. By the way, she's really trying to sell it hard. She just just she doesn't just zip it down to the point where you can see her tits. She zips it all the way down to where her friggin' treasure trail starts. Yeah, I was gonna say her crotch region. Six inches below the belly button. Thanks, Kojima. <laughs> like goddamn. But that's okay. She ends up she ends up being a good character. She ends up being more than just her tits and her ass. The safest way is to leave. Which I mean, you can't Debatable. You can't say about a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh No, I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to say she ends up being more than just her tits and her ass. I would dare say she might be able to pass a Bechdel test. Um and what? It's a it's a it's a feminist thing. It's basically it, it tests the, 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 the dimensionality of a character and do you have a shitty one dimensional character and blah 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 blah. Oh, okay. But I mean a lot of you can't say that for a lot of women in video games. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's kinda of true. Um and unfortunately just there for eye candy or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And granted there's a lot of that in Kojima's games, but he he does He's a, Japanese. What do you expect? Ah, uh, you're you're right. But he does do he does do a fairly good job characterizing a lot of his female characters. Right. Mm. Um, I would say in the whole series, there's a couple bad ones that come to mind right away. But um, in in this game, at least the 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 female characters that are in it are are fairly well fleshed out. Um, <laughs> fleshed out. Oh. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. No, that, no. Oh, that's super oh, sad. Oh, man. Oh, no. And, like, you argue that maybe she isn't so well so well characterized, but actually being a, a fucking bimbo, well, not a bimbo, but being being a sex object is part of is part of her character. I mean, she's a she's a female she's spy. A, yeah. She's she's yeah. she's got to get the secret somehow. Yeah, and usually that involves um, a lot of uh, uh, oral skills, but it also involves jamming a pinky or two up the guy's app. Um, <laughs> shut up! No, but seriously, I mean oil check. If you think if you think about it, you know uh, the the classic archetype of the female spy is she's able to use her sex appeal in order to get stuff, and to that end, Eva achieves that. Now, when you when you juxtapose her to a character like the boss, who, um, as far as I know from everything you learn about her, it was never about her sex appeal. It was about the fact that she can single-handedly kill everybody in a country ever because mm. she's a badass operative. I mean, yeah. you you've got two different types of uh, of uh, uh, female characters there, so it's kind of unfair to. Uh, Compare one to the other, I think. She's right, Snake. You should get and then you've got uh, Dr. Clark here, paramedic, who is a completely different female character. As the supporting cast, you have to... I mean, you only see her in-game model twice in the entire game. Once in the very beginning and once at the very end. Um, so all her characterization has to come through these codec calls, has to come through these radio calls. So the voice actor has to be amazing. And she is, and they do a very good job of characterizing her as well. Um, you will see when I save in some of the uh, the uh, later episodes, she is a movie buff and a movie nut in a time where movies are not uh, necessarily the biggest deal in terms of no, the world. They're not very common. I mean... They they were becoming much more common in the '60s, but you still yeah. ha, you still had to go to a theater in order to experience a movie, and it is clear that she's been to every movie. Uh, very up to this very point. clear. I mean, she talks she she loves monster movies. She talks about a ton of monster movies, and to and it pisses off Snake, and it pisses off uh, it pisses off Snake, and it pisses off Major Zero to a large extent here as well, because uh, he's a huge Bond fan. And uh, you'll see, you'll see some, uh, you'll see some, some friction in the team when it comes to James Bond later on here. 
Um, really? I never. I don't remember that. Have you not seen that codec call? No, That's, I don't remember it. The codec calls in these games are one of my very favorite. Why'd she take her fucking Ooh. pants off? God damn it. She probably slept with Snake, bro. Right. Nice, but no, she didn't actually sleep with him. Oh, no, shit's going down. But, um... What's the matter? Where was I going with that? We're what the fuck was I talking about? God damn it. Yes. No, not... No. What was I talking about before that? God. Some movie buff. Ah, uh, playthrough canceled. Yeah, she's... <laughs> She's a movie buff. Is he, he's still staring at her fucking tits. <laughs> at least she zipped her shit up a little bit more. Um, but now we are armed, and now we are, are ready to take on some fucking dudes. And I'm really sorry if I missed whatever conversation I was finishing. If you guys really want me to continue it, mention it in the comments, and I'll go back through and finish my thoughts in the comments. I'm such a fucking scatterbrains. You should expect this a lot. I hope it doesn't ruin your enjoyment of the uh, the games here. Mm. Oh shit, it's that guy again. He's so grump. He's back here. I wonder... <laughs> we didn't make this joke last time, but I wonder if he literally just woke up from Snake's ridiculous ass beating. No, because in the heli he, he was awake in the helicopter. Ah, shit, you're right. Damn, you ruined my joke. Thank Way to sandbag it, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, because someone would have said it. Yeah, you're Yeah, you're right. If I'd anybody, if anybody watches these, somebody would have said it. Yeah. So here we are back in the gameplay, and we've got to deal with these guys. Uh, this is the one point in gameplay where you actually have to um, deal with people and actually get rid of the enemies as opposed to being able to evade them. So I'm going to go under here and hide like a bitch.